I have um, some soil set up and what I'm going to be doing is moving the scorpions from these three enclosures that they're currently in and I'm going to use this uh, soil which is normal potting soil sand as well as some sterilized aquarium rock all of this is sterilized by the way um, I just put it in the oven uh, to about 400 degrees for an hour and in the case of the aquarium rocks the aquarium gravel I actually rinsed it out a couple of times after sterilizing it to rapidly cool it down as well as take out any contaminants uh, that were still in the rocks upon purchase here I have the watering little watering holes I'm gonna have for the uh, two out of the three scorpions and here's a syringe that is going to have the distilled water which I bought from Walmart for about 88 cents uh, there's no real um, significant difference from having distilled water to normal water because you have to think that these scorpions have been alive for millions and millions of years they've dealt with dirty water clean water distilled water all types of water so having distilled water isn't going to be any different from tap water as long as you don't have contaminated water you're good to go but this is just a personal choice that ultimately doesn't have any health benefits or detriments to the scorpion itself um, what I also have are the tongs, of course, the uh, tweezers. And if you look closely, I also have three plexiglass squares. So let's get into the setup section of the temporary enclosure. Mind you, I'm currently working on their permanent enclosure. However, it's taking a lot longer than I expected. So instead of uh, making one enclosure, putting it in, eventually making a second enclosure, putting it in, um, I'll just go ahead and put them all in. All at the same time so what I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna have this enclosure this temporary enclosure this is going to be for my Asian forest scorpion so what I really want to focus on are is mainly uh, this uh, potting soil and really that's about it for the Asian forest because this is a temporary enclosure so I'm gonna just get some soil here and I just put it in now, mind you, um, as stated earlier, I put in, um, I put the soil in the oven, 400 degrees for an hour, and that's to, just to kill any bacteria, viruses that may be in the soil. And I want to do that because, you know, you don't know what's been in the soil. It's been sitting outside or in some store for God knows how long. So you don't want to risk them, you know, picking up something that could kill them or anything like that. So... This will be big enough for my four scorpion. She's a, I don't know if it's a he or she, but since it's all small and cute, let's call it a she. They're really small and pretty cute, so um, I don't need a whole lot. Now what I'm gonna do is get this plexiglass cut that I got from the hardware store for about a couple cents. But the thought is, is to get a, get a section of it, the middle section, and to hollow it out, not too much though, and then set this on top of it and then bury it now I see that I don't have enough soil for that so I'm just gonna put some more in here with her being so small I don't have to worry about her escaping anytime soon she has a long way to go uh, before she gets to a size where I'm gonna be a little wary of her being able to get out okay so that seems pretty decent seems pretty nice so this will be for the uh, four scorpion Next is going to be our dune scorpion. So we're going to get the sand that is out of the camera and mix it up with the soil, the potting soil, so we can get a good sandy mix. Now at this point, I obviously haven't sexed the scorpions, so I just come up with arbitrary genders and just go from there. So our Asian forest scorpion is unofficially a girl and our dune scorpion is unofficially a boy. Uh, that's how I jump them. Yeah, here we go. Just gotta. Oh yeah, that should. That's more than enough for her to just crawl on through. So. All right, cool. That's for our Dune Scorpion. And the last one will be for our Boring Scorpion. That's it for the Boring Scorpion. Next thing is the water. So uh, both of these were cleaned 
with uh, hot soapy water. So what I'm gonna do is get the distilled water, use the syringe, which doesn't have, it's not pointy or anything. Just suck this out. Okay, cool. One thing I wanna make sure I do beforehand though, cause I almost forgot just now, is to get the aquarium rocks, which are over here. And I'm gonna have the aquarium rocks in the basin of the uh, water, the uh, watering pots. And the reason I want to do that is so that when the scorpions are actually in here, if you notice, it's pretty slick. So what I don't want to happen is for the scorpions to come in here because they want a nice little drink and they can't get out because it's so smooth, they are stuck in there and then they drown. Um, my boring scorpion, here you can see how you know, it's really slick, no gripping surface. My boring scorpion, I'm not too concerned about because as big as she is, I'm not too concerned. But for my Asian forest scorpion, I would err on the side of caution. That looks pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. All right, we're good to go. Cool. So next step is to go ahead and fill her up with the distilled water. So... And like I said, the rocks are to give them a good gripping surface in case they were to get stuck. Now, here comes the next step. This is the step I really don't like. Now I have to transfer them. You gotta be really careful. Don't wanna get stung. They're not deadly, but you still wanna be careful. So we're gonna go ahead and grab these tongs. Oh, tweezers. So. You can see I have three holes set up here, and that's just so they can breathe. Move it so you guys can see this Asian, baby Asian forest scorpion. Let's see if I can get a good focus. Zoom in on her a little bit. So as you can see, she's like, whoa, what is this, you know? So we're just gonna be really careful with it. So let's get a focus into this enclosure, that this temporary enclosure that our Asian forest scorpion is gonna be in. Now, that's perfect. And all I'm going to do is just get her. And I'm just going to slide her. And she's on guard. So, come on, baby. Just slide her because it's plastic. Boop. Now she's like, oh, whoa, this is weird. I'm in a new place. Okay. And she's on. She's really mad. Oh, she went into her little hidey hole. So, that's good. So, she can stay in there. Perfectly okay with that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and be really careful because, of course, we got that water sitting there. Um, and we're just going to move her over to the side. Next is our boring scorpion. We're going to slide her on in here. She's angry. She does not like this. Come on, baby. Bloop. All right. So now she's in. She's on guard. She's like, whoa, what is this? I don't like this. All right. Look like. She's trying to go in her hidey hole, and there she goes. Yep, now she's in her hidey hole. Cool. So, she's in here. Now she's good to go. Move her to the side. And next we have our dune scorpion. I am none too excited to handle the dune scorpion, because like I said, when I first got him, yeah, he was pretty angry. Here is our dune scorpion. He's just resting. If I called him a her, he is now a he. <laughs> so, whoa, oh, Jesus Christ. Whew. Ah, it's okay. Man, I don't know why this dune scorpion makes me so nervous compared to the others, but I am nervous. So, my heart is just like, I feel the adrenaline rush. I'm like, oh my God. So, Really careful. I don't know why I'm so on guard with this one. Come on. You good. You're good. All right. We'll just have, we'll just let that come in too. And boop. And straight into the hidey hole. Awesome. Now, one thing I should do before I uh, end this video is feed them because they have not probably eaten in a while. Come on, little bugger. Come on. Yeah, they really resist. But these scorpions will be at least the two adult scorpions will be able to dispatch them pretty easily, especially that boring scorpion with those huge claws. Psh, won't even be a problem. 
So we're gonna go ahead and get this second super worm that's all burrowed in here. Get them out, cause you will be food for my scorpions. If I can grip it, gentle grip. Throw them in there, good to go. Going straight into that burrow. So whenever they decide that they wanna eat, they can just snatch them up real quick and be good to go from there. Here's our baby scorpion. Gonna get you to go in. Go in the den. Go in this den. Yeah, there you go. That's what we want. So, and there we go. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make the enclosure um, the next couple of days. I just need a couple more items to get shipped to me because I ran out in the middle of me making it. So, we actually have our green enclosure. We have our dune scorpion here. We have a borrowing scorpion here and we have our baby Asian four scorpion there. So that is the video guys. Please like, share, subscribe, follow me on my Instagram kite talks about where you will receive daily updates on the progress of my scorpion keeping right now. I have three. I plan to get more later, but I don't want to get that newcomers surge where I just want to buy all the scorpions that exist because that's dumb. We don't want to do that. So um, I'll just take care of these for a couple months. Let's see how I do. Hopefully they don't die. And if everything goes good, I might end up getting more scorpions. But let's take baby steps for right now. Let's make sure we learn their tendency, their personality, and go from there. So without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.